We are talking about the movie Dead Sunrise, an Australian zombie movie directed and co-written by Michael Imitsky. And um, this one tells the story of a group of friends who are getting together for a night out in the woods, camping, drinking, shenanigans, all of that sort of thing. And uh, while they're out camping in the evening, they are approached, the camp is approached by this kind of young boy who seems to be in some type of uh, kind of gaze, kind of state, doesn't, doesn't quite really know what's kind of going on and they're obviously uh, suitably concerned and kind of taking him, take him in. And then a little later on they find a kind of facility, for lack of a better word, which has got kind of like uh, loads of kids all just kind of strewn out, kind of passed out but convulsing on the kind of the floor. And uh, it appears that this, this facility maybe doing some type of experiment perhaps and these kids are uh, once the sun comes up turned into ravenous zombie like killers and uh, will attack our group of campers that's your basic setup let's talk about what works first of all uh, the, the 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 big thing i would say for me i enjoyed about this movie is our, is our, is our kind of our main zombie kid who is the one that approached the camp i thought he was excellent because he, he has that kind of like that cute kind of moppet hair, but really does seem uh, genuinely when, when, when he kind of when he was first introduced, he seemed like he's ill, and he does such a good job of kind of giving you this kind of performance where you think he look, he's like ill, and then when he is turning into the kind of the more the killer sort of side of it, again he seems legitimately sinister. So this little lad, uh, I thought, did an excellent job here of, of doing a, uh, a you know a great kind of job going through the kind of the gambit of uh, different emotions that the kind of the, uh, the the movie kind of wants us to go through. And to be fair, uh, I think all of the kind of the um, the kids do a pretty good job in regards to their their kind of respective roles. Albeit they they obviously don't don't have quite as much kind of screen time as our kind of our, our main one, if you like. I'm gonna say I quite like the kind of the um, uh, the, the our kind of cast of characters in regard to the adults, um, you, you don't get the kind of the typical so much the typical kind of archetypal roles that you kind of get in a lot of horror films. Maybe this is because this is an Australian movie. Um, it, you know, it kind of just seems to be that they are more or less a kind of group of peers rather than having the kind of the stereotypical jock role, the nerdy role, the stoner role, that sort of thing. They just more more or less kind of seem like you know your your, your average kind of Joes here and there. And I've got to say, the, 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 the fact that these zombies are a little different, maybe. There's kind of an intriguing twist here that they're affected by kind of sunlight. Um, and they almost act a little bit like kind of vampires, more so than zombies to a degree. So it's kind of an origin, original take. And I, they haven't gone overboard with the makeup here. I, I always, it bothers me sometimes when you have zombie films where someone just gets turned and they immediately start having kind of like skeletal makeup and it's just like that will take a while for that to happen. And although there are, there are some kind of, that there are makeup involved here, I think it's done well to kind of, to make the kind of the, um, the kind of the zombie characters seem like they have recently turned but they kind of still look like they are affected. So the makeup effect is subtle but effective here. Um, what doesn't work for me? Oof, okay, there's one huge factor with this movie that which is appalling, and it's not something I'd often pull a, a, a film apart for, and it's the music. The music choices here are terrible. Now, you might say it's a matter of taste because there are certain scenes here that have like very hard kind of death metal scenes, but we're just talking about these, this kind of music playing when people are going camping. It does not make sense with the scene and it is massively distracting. But that's not the only thing is that they, they play like this kind of classical kind of comedy. They come kind of like this, this classical music that you always hear in comedies and stuff like that. The music choices here are awful, particularly distracting. They do not enhance the scenes and actually kind of like are very distracting and take your, you know, your, your kind of your attention off it. Now the director 
may well be a death metal fan and that's all that's all good and dandy but you know you need to use the music that enhances your film not kind of just because you like it and I got a feeling that's probably what has happened here but even outside of the kind of the the actual musical numbers the the score again it's just a little bit distracting from time to time it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to kind of like work with the kind of the actual scenes that it's kind of showing so I've got to say the music direction um, wasn't particularly good um, what else? Uh, the, the beginning of the movie is a little bit of a mess for me. Um, and, you know, in a way, the movie ends better than it begins. The first act of this film is just a jumbled mess. And I think it, it feels like the director is trying to kind of stretch his artistic muscles a little bit. But it just becomes a, a, a little bit of a convoluted and kind of like um, experimental mess, to be honest with you. You, kind of, you never really kind of feel like you are... Uh, getting to know the personalities of, of the kind of the our main kind of group of people and they just seem to kind of like change a, a, a kind of a drop of a hat anyway as the kind of the film goes on. Um, I don't think the acting was necessarily bad but uh, it, it, I don't think anyone really does, has much to do here if that makes sense so we never really kind of feel like there's, there's a huge amount of acting that's involved because there's, there's not a great deal of plot here to be honest it's more just people reacting to to kids and stuff, although, you know, there's just, the acting certainly isn't bad, I would say, but there's not a, a, a massive amount for our characters to do, and I feel the problem with this, well, one of the problems with this, this movie is there's a lot of kind of just like, certainly at the beginning, random kind of scenes that just seem out of place, um, and the, the, the edit, that kind of goes into the next thing, which is the editing here, the editing is awful in this movie, there's this there's horrible kind of like, uh, abrupt kind of edits, um, ones that just seem like they cut the kind of the scene too long and other scenes that go on for way too long so for me the, the movie is if you kind of took the technical side of that stuff out of it which I feel is the problem here the movie really is nothing to kind of like to uh, jump up and down about it has an original element kind of with, with regards to how the kind of our uh, the zombies work which is, I think is its strength and the kind of performance of the, 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 the main young boy but the actual plot itself is relatively kind of mundane with some kind of like just average performances. But the movie is really hampered by some very poor technical kind of side of things. Poor editing, quite frankly poor direction, and horrible, horrible sound design. And as such, I'm going to give this one a below average rating. So this one's got a 4 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.